All right, two forces of 60 Newton force east and 80 Newton force north that can currently on an object located at point P. Uh, for 51, using a ruler, determine the scale used in the vector diagram. All right, so use your ruler and paper. You should get six centimeters for this 60 Newtons or eight centimeters for this 80 Newtons. All right, you can set up a ratio, a proportion, or however you want to do it, you'll end up getting uh, one centimeter equals 10 newtons. All right? Now to draw the resultant force vector to scale on the diagram and label it R. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to do this tip to tail. Um, you're going to have to forgive me, I don't have a ruler that works on the smart board, but you're going to redraw either of these vectors. Let's redraw the north vector. All right? I'm going to take the north vector and I'm going to redraw it over on the opposite side. So it's tip to tail, all right? So I have the tip of the east vector connected to the tail of the north vector. All right? So now that we're tip to tail, I draw the result. And remember, resultant always points start to finish. And since it says to label the vector r, it's pretty important to label a vector r. All right? You're not going to get credit for a problem like this if you don't follow the instructions. Okay, for 53, we're going to determine the magnitude of the resultant force R. There's two ways you could do this. One, you could take your ruler and measure it. Uh, if you're off by uh, two millimeters in either direction, that should be fine. The other way you can do this is with the Pythagorean theorem. You do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, so we have 60 newtons for A. We have 80 newtons for B. And when we end up solving for C, you should get 100 newtons. All right, and finally, determine the measure of the angle in degrees between north and the resultant force R. So it's important to, again, it's important to follow the instructions. You want to measure the angle between north and the force. You want to measure this angle right here. Okay, and you can do that just with your protractor. Uh, plus or minus two degrees would be fine. Or you can also do it using Sokotoa. All right, I know this is 60 newtons. All right, so I have an opposite side and an adjacent side. I'm going to use tangent. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent, 60 newtons over. 80 newtons. All right, we're going to do an inverse tangent on both sides. Uh, inverse tangent of 60 over 80 equals theta, and you should get about 37 degrees. 